Hello there. In this brief video, we're going to be looking at forming equations and using the quadratic equation formula. And in particular, we'll also look at um, we'll look at the discriminant. More about that later, though. Let's uh, focus our mind now by looking at this particular word in question. Uh, a rectangular piece of land has a length three meters more than double the width. The area is 170 meters squared. That should be work out the dimensions of the rectangle. So first things first, we draw a diagram. A diagram. Now we're told it's rectangular, so let's draw a rectangle. And what was the information we were given? We're told that uh, the length of the land is three meters more than double the width. So if I let x equal the width, then double the width is 2x, and three meters more than that is plus three. And I'm told that the area is 170 meters squared. And we're already picking up some marks here, just for translating what these words in English mean into algebra. Right, now how do we calculate the area? Well, you multiply um, width times height. So the area is going to be x times 2x plus 3. And we're told that that must equal 170. And again, we've formed an equation. That's probably worth a method mark in the uh, mark scheme. Now, now we're focused purely on algebra. So let's uh, see what we do now. Uh, expand the brackets so we get 2x squared plus 3x minus 170 equals 0. It's the standard practice. Make the quadratic equal to 0. Now, I could factorise, but this is the calculator paper. Let's use the formula. A is the coefficient, the number in front of x squared. B is the number and sign in front of x. And C is the number and sign of the constant term, the number. So I'll just write that clearly. A in this case is 2. B is plus 3, though I can ignore the plus. Any number without a, plus, uh, without a sign is positive. And C is minus 170. Now let's look at that formula. It's there in the second page of the exam paper. X is equal to minus B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus or AC, AC being A times C, all over 2 times A. So all I have to do is carefully write down that formula with a replaced by 2, b replaced by 3, and c replaced by minus 170. So we get x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared take away 4 times 2 times minus 170. And I suggest you put the minus number within a bracket and that's all over 2 times a which is 2 times 2. Now let's get the calculator to do that. Let's move to the side so hopefully you can see it. Um, most of the calculation is, whoops, you can't see a little bit there. There you go. Can we see that minus 170? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just move this across to the left so we can get both up in view. There we go. Now, most of my calculations are fractions, so I'm going to put the fraction uh, button first, and I get minus 3. I'm going to do the positive square root first of 3 squared, take away 4, times 2, times minus 170. All over 2 times 2. And it's given it as 17 over 2 which is 8.5. So one value of x is 8.5. What's the other value? Remember there's uh, generally two uh, values. If I work backwards, I use the replay button, I don't have to type everything in, I just change that plus sign to a minus and then press execute. That's right, or equals and minus 10. 
So x will equal 8.5 or minus 10. In this, this context, it's not likely to be minus 10 because you can't have a negative length. Okay, and that's how we form and solve equations. But I mentioned something about the discriminant. The discriminant is the value of this part of the calculation. And I want to speak more about that. And I think given that time is now uh, over five minutes, but I'll do that in another video. Anyway, I hope you just uh, learned a little bit about how we can form and solve equations. And in this case, using the, um, the formula for quadratic equations. Thank you for listening.